everyone. Welcome to Topic of the Day. In today's video, we shall be discussing about the Assam Meghalaya border dispute. Now, recently, both Meghalaya and Assam said that they would seek a probe from the central agency into the Assam police firing that killed six people in an area bordering the West Karbi Anglong district of Assam and the Mukro village in Meghalaya's West Jaintia Hills. The incident comes ahead of the second phase of talks scheduled between the two states to resolve their boundary dispute. Let us talk about the border dispute between Assam and Meghalaya. Both Assam and Meghalaya have a long-standing dispute in 12 stretches of their 884-kilometer shared border. During the British rule, undivided Assam included present-day Nagaland, Arunachal Pradesh, Meghalaya and Mizoram. Meghalaya was carved out in 1972. Its boundaries demarcated as per the Assam Reorganization Act of 1969, but has held a different interpretation of the border since then. In 2011, the Meghalaya government had identified 12 areas of difference with Assam, spread over approximately 2,700 km square. Now, let us discuss about the Bordeloi Committee. Some of these disputes stem from the recommendations made by a 1951 committee headed by then Assam Chief Minister Gopinath Bordoloi. The committee recommended that blocks 1 and 2 of the Jaintia Hills that are in Meghalaya can be transferred to the Mikir Hill that is in the Karbi Anglong district of Assam besides some of the areas from Meghalaya's Garo Hills to Golpara district of Assam. The 1969 Act is based on these recommendations which Meghalaya rejects claiming these areas originally belong to the Khasi Jaintia Hills. Now, on the other hand, Assam says Meghalaya does not have the requisite documents to prove that these areas historically belonged to Meghalaya. Talking about the YV Chandrachur Committee, a number of attempts has been made in the past to resolve the boundary dispute. In 1985, under then Chief Ministers of Assam and Meghalaya, an official committee was constituted under the former Chief Justice of India, YV Chandrachur. However, a solution was not found. Now, let us discuss about the March 2022 agreement. From July 2021, Chief Ministers of the two states held several rounds of talks to make some headway. Both state governments identified 6 out of 12 disputed areas for resolution in the first phase. Three areas contested between West Khasi Hills District in Meghalaya and Kamrup in Assam, two between Riboy in Meghalaya and Kamrup Metro, and one between East Jaintia Hills in Meghalaya and Kachar in Assam. Now, after a series of meetings and visits by teams to the disputed areas, both sides submitted reports based on five mutually agreed principles. First, historical perspective. Second was ethnicity of local population. Then we have the contiguity with boundary. And finally, people's will. And finally, administrative convenience. A final set of recommendations were made jointly in which out of 36.79 km square of disputed area taken up for settlement in the first phase, Assam would get full control of 18.46 km square and Meghalaya of 18.33 km squares. Now, in March, an MOU was signed based on these recommendations resolving the dispute in 6 out of 12 areas. Further on, in August, they decided to form regional committees. Now, the second round of discussions for the remaining six phases is scheduled to commence soon. So, in the given scenario, let us discuss what can be the possible way ahead. First, the six areas taken up did not have major differences and were easier to resolve, which is why they were picked in the first phase. The remaining six areas are more complex and may take longer to resolve. And further on, now the firing threatens to derail the upcoming talks. So, this was a little bit about the Meghalaya-Assam border dispute. Now, let us take up one practice question on the same. Consider the following statements. First, during the British rule, undivided Assam included present-day Nagaland, Arunachal Pradesh, Meghalaya and Mizoram. Second, Meghalaya was carved out of Assam as a separate state in the year 1982. Now, which of the statements given above are correct? You can take a moment and write your answers in the comment section below. Now, here only the first statement is correct. The second statement is wrong because Meghalaya was carved out of Assam, correct? But as a separate state in the year 1972 and not 1982. Therefore, the correct answer is option A, that is one only. Well, with this, we call it a wrap of today's edition of Topic of the Day. I hope you like the video. You can also check out the daily current affairs section on our website for further details. And for more such videos, do stay tuned to the next IAS YouTube channel.